y'all and welcome to today's video. I am ready to judge new makeup. We are going to be looking at all the photos, all the brand announcements, new products that are coming out, and we are going to judge them. Are they ugly? Are they cute? Do we want them? Do we not want them? You can call me Judge Heather because I am going to be giving my opinions, thoughts on everything that we talk about today, and I want to hear from y'all. There's a lot to talk about. Some things that I think are so amazing. Some things that I think are really, really exciting and innovative. Some things that are super duper boring. So I want to hear y'all's thoughts. Now, we're going to judge the makeup. Yes, we are. We're going to judge it. But we are not going to judge each other. The world would be such a boring place if we all looked the same, sounded the same, liked the same things. So we can definitely disagree on makeup. We're just going to be nice to one another. You know, I I'm excited. I want to talk about some of these things. And if you're new here, I want to say, hey, my name is Heather and makeup makes me happy. Here at my channel, we don't try to be perfect. We just want to have a good time with our makeup, whatever that means. I do upload lots of new videos every single Single week so I hope that you will subscribe before you leave today I had six videos last week six videos lots of videos here on my channel so yeah stick around if you don't want to miss out I am really excited to talk with y'all this week though so let's jump into it <music> myself on over to the side. I'm going to pop up photos for y'all so that you can see in case maybe you haven't seen these new things. All the Instagram accounts I pull from are always linked down below in case you want to follow these accounts too. But let, let's kind of talk about, let, let's start this video on a super positive note. Something that I think is amazing that I have shared on my Instagram. So if you follow me over there, you know, I already shared it and was like, this is so crazy cool. So it looks like Lancome or L'Oreal, like the parent company, has made the first AI powered motion stabilizing device. Now I'm showing you photos here so that you can see, but I will encourage you to also look at the link in my description box and see people using this product, talking about their experience using this product, because it's a really, really cool. So this is the Hapta. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. H-A-P-T-A. It is designed to help consumers with hand and arm mobility challenges apply lipstick, uh, foundation, eyeshadow, mascara will be added in the future. But this device does lipstick. And what this is, is like, it's just a device to, like, like it says, right? help consumers with hand and arm mobility apply makeup more easily. I think that is so innovative, so cool. It's not something that I have seen from other brands. And I just think this is so, so cool. Um, so L'Oreal says, our hope would be that every year we'll unveil a new product. We're working on mascaras as well. Then we'll do eyeshadow, blush, foundation in the coming two to three years. We'll be able to test, adjust, and bring no, new versions of makeup applicators to the market. So this one is going to be pretty expensive. It's not available yet. They say it's about a year away from launch and it's going to be $200. And that is an extremely high price point, but it, it mm, you know, I, I won't say too much, but if you've looked at the cost of medical devices and things, it, it's crazy. It's, it's really, really crazy high prices, but I want to focus on the positives for this because I just think this could be a game changer for so many people. Again, please do go watch the videos where people are testing and trying this. They're sharing their experiences. They're sharing why they're excited for this type of technology to come out. I just felt very inspired. It was, it was just really, really cool to see. I loved seeing people apply this and talk about their experience. And I love to know that brands are working on products like this. And there's another one too, to talk about. This is, so we talked about the lipstick one. This is the Brow Magic, the first 
at home electronic eyebrow makeup applicator that provides users with brows in seconds. So the Hapta we talked about, and this is the Brow Magic. It's going to be available in nine shades, priced between $149 and $199. So it says you open the app, scan your face, select your desired shape, thickness, effect, brush the Brow Magic primer through the brows, move the printer across the brow in a single sweeping motion, and apply a top coat. I think this is interesting. Is this something that I need? Is this something that a lot of us probably need? No, but it is innovative and I can see that this will be a product that a lot of people will really like. And a lot of people maybe just learning to do their brows, maybe want some help with their brows. Maybe they don't have brow hair anymore. You know, I can see who this product would be for. So I just kind of wanted to start this video off talking about some really new and innovative products, even if they're not products I personally need to buy. I think it's really cool to see these come to the market and I would love to hear your thoughts on these. Okay. I have some other like news and stuff I want to talk about, but let's, let's talk about some makeup for a minute first. First off, I wanted to talk about this palette from Tarte. This is the Tarte Cosmetics Sugar Rush Sweet Cravings Palette. This is available at Ulta right now. It's $32. Did I say that? Probably. Chocolate scented nine pan palette of neutrals with some red and pink gold tones in there. And I have to say, I can be pretty critical of Tarte palettes, but I don't hate this. I actually kind of like this. Now, I don't love the weird shaped pans. If it were up to me, I wouldn't make the pans like that. They're just odd shaped. It seems like a little bit of wasted space to me. You could have condensed it a bit, but I don't hate it. You know what I mean? Like I get the concept. It's for their, it's like, it's the sweet Tarte thing. It's whatever. I don't hate, it's fine. The color story though, for neutrals, I like this because it looks like we do have some contrast in there, right? We have some light pink tones. We have some deep tones. We have some kind of like, I don't know, caramely to like rich leaning shades, like very saturated. So I don't hate this. I'm actually looking forward to what Tarte is going to do this year. I bought their Man Eater After Dark palette last year. And while it wasn't my favorite, I think it was a really good palette that wasn't super boring and bland that most consumers could walk into Sephora or Ulta and purchase. So I, I, I liked that. I was like, okay, they're stepping outside their comfort zone a little bit. And I've been loving their little contour wand. I've, I've been trying some other stuff from them that I'm really enjoying. So Maybe that's another reason that I was kind of like looking at this. Now, I'm not going to buy this, okay? If I'm wearing a neutral palette, me personally, I want multi-chromes, lots of texture, lots of fun things. This isn't something that's going to pull me in, but I think a lot of people really like this. And I, again, it's not just, you know, a palette the color of sand. So I, I'm happy to see it even if I'm not going to buy it. Okay, also, e.l.f. launched color correctors. So, you know, we talk about in makeup, everything comes around in cycles, right? You know, everything old is new again eventually. And makeup color correctors have been around for a long time. They're definitely not new. But I do remember a few years ago, say a few years, how many years ago was it? maybe four or five years ago, we saw a trend where every brand was putting out their color correctors. Now, of course, makeup artist brands or brands that we think of as more catered toward the makeup lover, like MAC, Makeup Forever, they already had color correctors, but we saw like almost every brand putting out color correctors. So when I saw this from e.l.f., I was like, Okay, we're gonna start seeing more color correctors, more makeup for people to try. So these are the camo color correctors from e.l.f. Five full coverage shades, and these are only $4. They are available at Ulta right now. I will link them and everything else I talk about will be in the description box. All the information I can fit down there, I do put there. So 
color correctors you probably already know but they can be super helpful you know a pink under your eye to kind of like camouflage any discoloration you may have the peachy one can be used for dark spots yellow to get rid of dullness orange for dark spots for tan to rich skin tones green to camouflage redness blue to mix with your foundation and concealer to offset a warm tone so i know lots of videos are here about color correcting i don't color correct all the time but i definitely say i'll use like my sigma under eye corrector before I go on with concealer if I feel like I just need a little extra help you know on the whole I don't think most people need a color corrector I say need because none of us need anything right food air shelter safety security like but 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 it's makeup and it can be a fun step if you want to play around with color correctors if you want to go all out definitely do and then I do know a lot of people do use color correctors regularly I love to watch Jackie Anna she does great makeup videos she's so entertaining I love her and she is always using like a peachy orange color corrector around her mouth so I think if it's something you've been interested in rather than paying 20 30 or more dollars for a color corrector not knowing if you're even gonna like to incorporate this into your routine these from elf could be really cool winky Lux is not a brand i have ever tried but they have launched some new products i really i mean they have a mascara a lip balm i want to talk about this white tea tinted moisturizer with spf 30 in seven shades so this is eight dollars each and i will say just looking at this photo there's only seven shades but it does look like it goes from very light to very dark so I think even if you have a small shade range, you can still try to cover all the bases, you know? This one does look like that. I personally don't need a tinted moisturizer, but if you're looking for one, this could be for you. I've never tried Winky Lux. It's $28, so if you have an experience with the brand, please do let me know. I know they're like blushes that look like flowers were really popular. I never tried them, but if you buy Bought this because I know this has been available for about a week now let me know what do you think of it okay let's jump back over to some makeup news because Morphe has announced that they're closing all of their stores not online not pulling out of Ulta nothing like that but they're like standalone stores or freestanding stores or stores that are in malls you know just like the Morphe store so they put this tweet out we have made the difficult decision to close all morphe stores in the u.s we are forever grateful to our store teams for their passion talent and dedication over the years so i wanted to talk about this because i'm not surprised you know like i'm not surprised i've never actually been in a morphe store I don't think I remember I was at the Mall of America this summer with my friend Karen Karen Harris and we even walked by and she was like you've never been in one do you want to go because I had mentioned like oh I've never been in a Morphe store but as we walked by I was like no <laughs> and I know Morphe stores didn't only carry Morphe they carried other brands too but yeah i'm just not super surprised to see them closing i mean what is sad is a lot of well, a lot what is a lot i don't know there were TikTok videos made by morphe employees that said they literally went into store they went to work and they were told hey the next day the store's closing so you don't have a job and that's heartbreaking because they uh, come on like morphe they could have let the employees know. They could have gave give them like a little bit of notice, you know? Like it does say you can still shop Morphe products at Ulta and at Target. I will say, you know, I see especially here online, a lot of people are like, oh, Morphe's terrible products, blah, blah, blah. I used a Morphe brow pencil today. I definitely used to love some of my Morphe products, specifically like my OG Jaclyn Hill with the white like I love that 
at the time, you know, what was that, 2017 at launch. And I do think it's really nice. Like you can get Morphe brushes. Are they the most amazing brushes in the whole wide world? The best brushes I've ever tried? No, but they're at a lower price point. I think they're really great for people who want to get some brushes. I think, you know what I mean? Like they do make a range of products at a lower price point, And I think that is really nice. So yeah, I just make up news that we can talk about. Okay, let's talk about this launch from Essence. Hmm. You know, I talked about Winky Luxe's shade range earlier. This shade range, okay, I saw this photo. I, I saw this photo. This is from That's So Taupe. They are linked in the description box always. And I'm like, hmm, because a lot of times I'll see photos on Instagram and stuff. It's not the full shade range. You know, like last week I talked about the new NARS powders and I said, like, here's a photo. This is not the full shade range. So, you know, that happens. So I'm like, okay, keep me covered, long lasting foundation, $6.99, 15 shades. And then I'm like, one, two, three. Huh, okay, that is the full shade range. Keep Me Covered Concealer, 10 shades. And I'm like, that is the full shade range. Odd. I don't know. And like the concealer says, medium to full coverage, lightweight, formulated with aloe vera to hydrate and soothe redness, help control oil and minimize the look of pores. So hydrate and help control oil. So I'm guessing maybe it's like matte. I don't know. Did you buy this from Essence? Let me know. I'm just looking at this, not impressed. Okay, this, this, this. Let's talk about this. Estee Lauder Year of the Rabbit palette for Lunar New Year, $58. I was so excited. I saw this and I'm like, oh my gosh, yes, that is so cool. I'm going to buy it. I literally like opened up my phone, I typed it in and I'm like, oh, it's not a cheek palette. This is an eyeshadow palette. I thought this was a cheek palette. I was like, oh my gosh, look at those highlighters and blushes. I didn't look at it too long. I just saw these like pinky and kind of like light, golden tones and I was like oh blushes and highlighters that's so cute I'm gonna buy that no I was sad this is a limited edition eight pan palette with mattes and shimmers this is so cute for a cheek palette I don't like this as a highlighter palette I don't like this as a highlight I mean as an eyeshadow palette I would have liked it as a blush and cheek palette I don't know am I the only one when you saw this photo did you think cheek palette because I think it would have been so cute for the face and I know, don't even tell me, Heather, you can use those on your cheeks too if you want to. No, no, no. I wanted like blush formulas, highlighter formulas. So this is a no for me. The packaging's so cute though, but the color story for eyeshadows is a big fat yawn for me. Let's talk about a couple of ColourPop things. First of all, let me let, me let y'all know in case you have not seen this. ColourPop has a refill program. So let, let me explain to this what this means because I'm like, well, what's a refill program? So you can now grab one free single pan refill with every order while supplies last. So if you're buying something on ColourPop, you can go, I typed in, I, I tested this myself. I was on the ColourPop site, I went to the search bar, I'll have it linked down below for y'all, but I typed in refill and it came up and they're all priced at zero dollars. So you add your favorite shade, you can get one per order and it's free. So it's just a magnetic shadow. So the thing is like, if you have your favorite palette and you've hit pan on that shade, you can get the replacement. But it is not like every shade ColourPop's ever done on there. It was like what you see in this photo. One purple and a bunch of beiges, pinky beiges, peachy beiges, but that purple you see, that's the only color, okay? The rest is all neutrals, but I will say, if I'm on a site and they're like, get this free with purchase, I'm like, yeah, do I, do I need it? No, but it's free with purchase. So essentially I paid for it when I bought it. So I'm gonna get it. If I don't want it, I'll give it to somebody. And that's how I felt about this. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna remember next time I place an order, I'll definitely get one of these because it's free with my purchase and I'll give it to somebody. Why not? I thought this was really cool. Okay, the big launch from ColourPop this week was their collab with the Winx 
club, I think, right? We are the Winx. Transform into fairies with our all new collection of Winx inspired shades. So this is available now. I did not buy this. First of all, I don't know this series. I don't know if I'm too old for this or if I just missed this completely. I don't know it. I did watch the new Netflix adaptation and I understand why it got canceled, you know what I'm saying, after two seasons. But it was cute. It was cute. It, it, it was, yeah, you know. But this is like a different Winx. And I know a lot of y'all were really excited about this. A lot of the fans were happy. A lot of the fans were not happy. I don't know, but if this was your collab, I hope you got what you wanted. I did think it was exciting to see a colorful palette from ColourPop. It looks like there were some duo chromes in there. But for me, taking myself out of the collab aspect, because I told you I don't know what this is. So if I'm just looking this as makeup, it's colorful, but it's nothing I need in my collection. I think the glosses look cute. I love a glitter gel, so I think that's super cute. There are those like cheek sticks and face crystals. Overall, I think this is very cute. I just didn't need to buy it. Okay, new lipsticks from Hourglass. This is the Hourglass Unlocked Satin Cream Lipsticks. 13 shades, buildable full coverage, creamy satin finish, magnetic case. I love a magnetic case. Let's just get that out of the way. I'm wearing a Sigma lipstick today and I'm like, what's so satisfying about a magnet, right? So I love that. These look really pretty. Hourglass. Okay. I like these shades. It looks like we have some cool tones, some warm tones, some pinks, some mauves, some more orangey tones, some reds, some browns. I know it's only, what did we say, 13 shades, but there's range in those 13 shades. I would definitely like to swatch these next time I'm in store. They're not available yet, but they are coming soon. Okay, Bare Minerals has put out some new items, and this looks like a Bare Minerals launch. Like very like, yeah, okay. You could have told me these products were 25 years old and I would have been like, yeah, okay, cool. I, I mean, I, there's nothing exciting about this to me, but listen, if you love it, I love it for you. That's wonderful, it's available now. Warmth Mineralist Eyeshadow Palette for $32 lip gloss for $22 and the complexion rescue natural matte tinted moisturizer mineral SPF in 30 uh, SPF 30 20 shades not for me not even one little bit okay Odin's I launched their new jewel shine collection so they released multi chromes and some shimmer shades some of them being duo chromes I made a whole video swatching this collection it was really really fun. I gave y'all swatches on my hand and different lighting, showing you the shifts. I had a lot of fun. Thank y'all to everybody who watched it. If you're curious about these, definitely do watch my video because I really tried to be in depth, show you everything I could show you. And I will say, I love watching videos like that. I have watched, I think every video that's been made swatching these shadows, I have watched. To me, it's so relaxing to like be cleaning my makeup brushes or folding laundry and watching a swatch video. I love that. So I did want to remind you that these are available now. You can use a discount code. My affiliate code is Heather if you want to save on these. They're so pretty. And then I also did like a get ready with me something video earlier this week and I used some of these on my eyes. They're really, really, really beautiful. Okay, Urban Decay has launched a new concealer. This is the Quickie 24 Hour Multi Use Hydrating Full Coverage Concealer. This says one swipe full coverage concealer for on the go, gives you a natural skin like finish for up to 24 hours, minimize the look of eye circles, acne, blemishes, hyperpigmentation, discoloration, and redness. 24 shades for $32. So this looks pretty cool. I, you know, I used to like some Urban Decay complexion products. I don't have any anymore. I've just found things I like better. But I will say I've been testing, you know, I found that new Makeup Revolution concealer. I reviewed that earlier this week that I, that, that's a new favorite. 
I've been testing a new Tarte concealer that I like. I'm testing the new Dior concealer that I like. So this one, I don't feel the need to get it. And I really hate the packaging. I really don't like what a sponge or a brush or whatever that is. Some shades are at Nordstrom. I found some shades on Urban Decay, but it looks like it's going to launch everywhere soon. I just hate that packaging. Like what is that brush? And then washing it like, no, I hate the packaging. So it's a skip for me. Okay, this is not makeup, but I wanted to let you know, uh, Unearthly Cosmetics, the last I checked, they still had some of their Valentine's Day mystery boxes available. So these are $100. They have the pre-order up right now. As soon as I get mine, I'm going to do an unboxing for y'all, play with whatever's in there. Unearthly is doing exclusive items to the box. Like these are not old products. They're not like mystery boxes that some brands do where it's like, we're going to give you a bunch of old products for a lower price, which is completely fine. This is like a mystery box where you are getting all new products that have never come out before. And right now they're exclusive to the box. I did see, I think on Instagram, Unearthly had said like, you know, we may bring them out again later, maybe not, we don't know, but right now they're exclusive to the box. So I cannot wait. The Halloween block box, listen, go watch my video because that box was so freaking good. So I'm very excited about that. And you can use discount codes on top of that mystery box. So you can use affiliate code Heather if you want to, but on the 13th, they're gonna have these mirrors. It says, this is a collector's item. I don't think it's coming back. And they said it is 1.37 pounds. That's heavy. That's heavy for a mirror, but I need this. It looks so luxe and beautiful. Again, I don't think this is going to be for everybody, but it is going to be for me. I'm going to buy that. Something else I'm gonna buy is ABH is launching new shades in their lip liners. That's the ones I'm gonna buy. I love the ABH lip liners. Love, love, love the ABH lip liners. I think they're so, so good. So they're coming out with Caramel Mocha, Muted Mauve, and Rosewood. I'll probably buy all of those. So they're coming January 9th to the ABH site. I'll probably just wait till they come to, uh, Sephora or something. I did buy a bunch of their lip liners on Black Friday. They had a 50% off sale and I bought a bunch. I want to say like six or so. So I probably won't buy all of these at the same time, but I'll definitely pick up some more because I love those lip liners. They're going to have four new lip gloss shades and some new lipstick shades. I wanted to let y'all know I'm only interested in the lip liners, but I do like to see brands that have good products just expanding the shades. I know that's always not the most like exciting thing, but it does help to like start with a core line of something and then slowly build on top of it, you know? Colored Rain is launching new multi-use skin sticks. 26 shades, jojoba oil, coconut oil, vitamin E. Right off the bat, I stay away from products that have coconut oil as a main ingredient because it makes me break out. My skin does not like it. I know a lot of people use coconut oil to like take their makeup off and stuff. Absolutely not. My skin hates that. It hates that. So these are definitely not for me with that being like a main call out key ingredient, but looking at this shade range, I think this looks great. So if this is something that you're interested in, definitely keep an eye out. I will link it down below. Right now, Colored Rain just has like a landing site for this, but there's nothing that you can really look at. But I will say it looks like it goes from light to dark with a lot of shades in between. Get Pampered, introducing the new limited edition Valentine's Day collection from Wet n Wild. So this is coming to Ulta on the 15th. I will link it down below for y'all. This, hmm, no, <laughs> I don't need anything. Okay, so that sponge with the silicone hate, that cheek, that blush palette. I tried the Lilo and Stitch kind of bronze or highlighter palette last year. Really didn't like that. So I think I'm just going to pass on this collection, but I do think it's cute. You know, from Valentine's Day, 
it's pink it's about taking care of yourself so maybe you really like wet and wild products but there's just nothing in this photo that's like buy me heather buy me so th there's plenty of releases i am interested in i think this looks cute but i don't need it okay p louise is launching uh, the, okay what am I even going to say? We're going to talk about this palette. This is the Blend Away eyeshadow palette, but they're also launching like makeup removers, makeup mist, sleep mask, lotion, cleanser. Like, let's just talk about this palette. <sighs> you know, I really want to try P. Louise, but they never release anything that I want. <laughs> I know that sounds crazy, but like so many people talk about liking their eyeshadow formula, but I don't understand their releases. And this palette looks so large and I just don't need this. 50 shades for $49. So that's less than a dollar a shade. Are you interested in this? Do let me know. I mean, I don't know. Like, I understand some shades looking similar, but this is, this, this palette, just when I look at this, I feel a little overwhelmed. So it's a no for me. Okay. I think we may have talked about this a couple of months ago. There was a sneak peek, but now we have the NARS Air Matte Ultra Lip Tint. Six shades, matte finish, liquid tint that's promised to be extra light with the gel formula. So there's going to be pinks, roses, nudes, and reds in this line. I don't know that I need this. I do you think it looks pretty on the lips, but I would really like to swatch it and feel the texture because I, with the gel formula, that's what I'm a little curious about because I think like the Kaleidos Cloud lip clays are very like matte, but comfortable. They're very light and moussey feeling on the lips but they're not a gel formula because when I was first looking at these, I thought about the Kaleido Slip Clays, but I don't think this is going to be similar to that. So I really want to swatch these in store, but right now I don't feel like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I need to buy these as soon as they launch, you know? Coming at the end of January, Bella Beauty Bar is reformulating their star crossed lovers palette so this is a matte and duochrome eyeshadow palette and they did say it's their new updated formulas so i really like the kind of romeo and juliet theming to this palette i love a good theme i love that it's kind of coming around for Valentine's Day. Again, this is an existing palette. They're reformulating, which I think is nice. You know, makeup is constantly, constantly improving. And I feel like this is me. If I was a brand owner and I put out a bomb product and I was like, yes, I love this. But two years from now, there may be new ingredients, new formulas, new ways to do things. I'm going to be like, Yes, let's take this color story, this product that I love, and let's make it even better because all the time innovation happens. So I'm excited to see them updating this and I want this. Let me know. Do you want me to review this? Because mm, I'm looking at that top row and I'm looking at that like purpley magenta color that matte looks so pretty it looks like we have a deep dark shade and then that middle row of like duochrome shimmer shades that go from light to dark then that bottom row, like i kind of feel like i need this so please do let me know do you want me to review this because i think this is really cool looking looks like something i would like and if you didn't watch me rank all my palettes from the year go watch because i had bella beauty bar in my yearly favorites and pretty hot up in my yearly ranking. So I might, I might have to get this one and try it. I do have an affiliate code with Bella beauty bar. I'll put it in the description box, but it's Heather. If you want to save, you don't have to use it, but do use the code, save some money where you can look for codes, use it. I just looking at this, I think I would really, really, really like this one. All right, I don't always talk about fragrance, but this one was super intriguing. This is Tom Ford Cherry Smoke. So this, mm, 
this is in one of his private scents. That means it's expensive. Cherry smoke plays with fire, bursting with the scent of dark cherry. Ignited, oh, everything, everything. I kind of want this. I looked this up on Sephora and it described the scent as hedonistic. <laughs> and I was like, oh. I love when a scent is described. Of course, give me the notes. You know, I need to know that it's cherry and smoke and all of that. But also give me the feeling. And I was like, when they said hedonistic, I was like, I know exactly what type of scent this is going to be. <laughs> I love that. I, I love when a scent like goes on and on and on. So I cannot wait. Next time I'm in store, I have to smell this. Euphoria launched a new cleanser. They actually sent me this cleanser. I'm excited to be testing this out. This is the Night Off Face Wash Green Tea, green tea Deep Cleanser. It says it's a gentle deep cleanser infused with green tea to remove dirt, sunscreen, and makeup without stripping the skin. I love that. I look for that in a cleanser. Just clean my skin. Don't strip it. Have you ever used a cleanser that was so intense that you're like, I think you took off the top layer of my skin. Like my skin feels wah, 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 squeaky. Like, no, this sounds like something I'm like, so I'm actually going to use this tonight. I'm really excited about it. Shantikai has released their Wild Meadows Spring 22 collection. I think the packaging looks pretty. It, I mean, I don't love it. I love when they do the animals better. So they could have maybe done some like spring insects or butterflies, but it's cute. The blush embossing, beautiful. So the quad is $78. What a bargain. The blushes are $75, a complete steal. And the Wild Meadow Leap Lip products are $52 each. So why not just buy all three, you know? Like, <laughs> I'm joking. I know I'm not the target customer for this. I do have a Chantecai lip product that I really enjoy, but I'm not going to rush out to buy these. If I were, it would be the blushes because those blushes do look really beautiful, really luxurious, but I'm sure lots of people that review tons of luxury stuff will be talking about these and I will be watching their videos. Okay, so the Kai Love brand is closing down. They announced on their social media this week. So Kai Love is an indie brand. They did a lot of like art inspired makeup. Really cool. I have a video here on my channel. I think their products are super cool. So they are having a sale on their site. So you can go check it out if you're curious. Uh, I'm pretty sure they deactivated codes and everything and just kind of like marked everything down super duper low, but it just said that they're, you know, pursuing other endeavors in their life. So they're having a 55% off sale, of course, with no restocks. Once it's gone, it's gone. So they say, if you want something, definitely come and check them out. But I do wish the owners of Kylove all the success and whatever they choose to do in the future. Spectrum brushes. Look at y'all. I'm proud of y'all. Look at these brushes. This is not a collab. I guess Spectrum heard that we thought all they could do was collab and they were like, no, we can do cocktails too. So $54 each. They have three different brush sets. I do have some Spectrum brushes that I like. I wouldn't say they're like at the top of my favorite brands, but you know, they're cute and the theming, you know, if you like this, definitely check it out. Okay, MAC is releasing a Strobe Dewy Skin Tinted Moisturizer BB Cream. $30 each in 16 shades. Wear alone for a dewy look or under foundation beneath powder. They say it's multi-use. This looks so pretty. And this is the kind of product that if I had dry skin, I would just eat this up because I think this looks so Oh, pretty, like so pretty that even me, I'm looking at it like, uh, you're so pretty, but I have oily skin, my, please. This would be a mid-morning snack for my oily skin. Like it would be gone. You would not see it again. I know products like this do not work for me. Uh-uh, uh-uh, no, no, no. Strobe, dewy, skin tint, moisturizer, baby cream, no, it's not for me. 
but if I had dry skin, I would buy this because I think this looks cool. I think the shades look cool. The swatches look glowy and beautiful. This is a product I want to want, but I just can't, you know, but it does look super cool. So if you are into it, definitely check it out. It looks so pretty to me. I even like the packaging. I think it looks super sleek and like professional. I don't, I don't know. I just think it's cool. Okay, please tell me if you have ever tried this brand, Cara, 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 I don't know, Beauty, okay? So I saw these palettes. These photos are from Dupe That. If you don't follow that account, you should. They do great swatches, really, really cool content. But there are two new palettes. Let's talk about this first one that has the greens and the blues, the Stellar palette. This is pretty, right? So it's a 32 pan palette, which is large, okay? It's definitely like that Morphe style format. $18.99 each. I think that's a good price. And it says um, that they do offer like discount codes and stuff too. So you can check that out too. But I've never tried this brand. And when I saw this come up on my feed from Dupe That, I was like, oh, that i'm kind of curious about this the swatches they posted look really promising too so this stellar palette is more blue greens and cool tones it looks like there are some neutrals sprinkled in i would love to know if you have ever tried this brand please give me a review down below whether you liked it you didn't like it you thought it was mediocre like your experience i really really appreciate when y'all leave me product reviews it helps me out a ton and then they also have this other one that is the planetary palette palette and this one is more pinks with a little bit of like purples and yellows but overall it looks a little more like neutral leaning still very cute though so please do again let me know I think that's cool and $18.99 each like that's not that's not a bad price point I'm, I'm definitely curious about that quality all right, y'all, that is all I have to talk about today. Remember, if anything is announced or shown between the time I film and the time I post, we can always talk about it next week. Thank you so much for y'all who tagged me on Instagram about new releases and things like that. It really helps me know what y'all want to talk about. I really appreciate it. I just checked, and right now, I'm not seeing any. Thing. It's 426 on Saturday. So of course things could get announced in the next few hours. But let me tell you what's on my face. I'm wearing my Kiss Meredith Duxbury Angel Eye Lashes. Um, I posted my lip. If you follow me on TikTok, you already saw. But this is the ABH Lip Liner in Raisin and the Sigma Infinity Point Lipstick in New Mod. Let me put her back where she goes and then i'm wearing the sigma glisten and glow cheek duo i think their holiday stuff was on sale maybe but this is what i'm wearing and then on my eyes actually okay the lid shade you see you already know that's scrubs from my palette with the depth it's always linked in the description box that's what you see all over the lid but actually my friend lynn sent me this um, ABH palette. This is the Primrose palette. I never tried it before and I'm going to link her Instagram account down below. Well, her name's Lindsay, but I say Lens because that's her like Instagram. So I will link it down below so that y'all can follow her. She does some really cool makeup stuff and I was so happy she sent me, sent me this palette because I had never, never tried it before and I uh, used the mattes and um, the inner corner shade. It's all from that palette. The only shade that's not is Scrubs that's all over the lid because I thought it would just pair so beautifully. So I think that's all I have to tell y'all. I have lots of fun videos coming this week. Definitely do subscribe if you want to not miss out and I will see you soon tomorrow in another video. Bye!